constantly analysing data on milk yield concentrate usage and the amount of cows that are calving. It's just day to day constant monitoring of data. So it's crucial for the production. Decisions have to be made on say an individual cow, on how much milk she's given, when is she in calf, is she due to be in calf, for just the constant cycle to keep the production at a level that's financially beneficial to us. The robotic system is constantly collecting information for every time a cow visits the robot. New information is taken from that each day to the, the coordinates of the teat placement, to how much milk she's given. There's other systems we're using to the basic handwritten, filling in a book for calving dates, when the cow calved. Animals that are sold off farm, animals that are bought in from the farm. There, there's, there's constant data from a computerised system to a handwritten system. We get data from three different sources. First of all is our members themselves, so we know an awful lot about their farms, the type of buildings they use, the housing, the feeds, the genetics and so on. The biggest volume data we have is, is every time a batch of pigs go so away we get an awful lot of information back from the, the processors. That's a mixture of physical performance, so the weights and the probes and so on, uh, and also financial so we, we know the, the value of every, every pig that goes through. Uh, and the third area is we've done quite a lot of work over the last 15 years on uh, health information particularly. We have a separate scheme that harvests health information and, and feeds it back to producers. The data that we collect is super numbers actually under the soil when the plant's still growing and also the overall weight of what those tubers are. We'll then do another test dig near a burn-off time, near a desiccation, to see how those tubers have grown and what, again, what their overall weight is. Drones are flown in the crop once the, there's full canopy cover to see if there's any problems in the field or certain topography in the field or wet parts that may affect the crop and how it yields. Um, our partner, Soil Essentials, they also take satellite imagery, again, looking for the same sort of thing. Uh, I think we'll be um, investing more heavily into um, programmes like Tuber Zone in order to get more data. Uh, we have a potato breeding programme and we are hopeful that we'll have um, potentially three or four new varieties that will also need a similar type of, um, of work. Fast breeders uh, collect a variety of data uh, and uh, it's, it's increasing but there are really five data points of collection that are currently uh, in place. What's collected now is data that's put into the farm wizard package which includes cow identification numbers, births, deaths, uh, marriages or, or matings really, uh, movements and sales, weights and, and lameness. CIS also collect data and that uh, uh, collects individual milk yield and butterfat and protein and also uh, urinary disease. On each individual farm also they, you know, they have individual accounts packages so farm data uh, record that. Agrinet is also used to record grass growth. So the, the job of the Fast Breeder project has really been to take farm management uh, data and also the production of each individual cow and essentially what we've done is we've given that to SIUC who are acting as our uh, data, data analysis service. And what they're trying to do is to pick the star performers uh, the girls essentially that have the best genetics. So I'm John Howie, farming at Gertrude Farm at Dundonald. Uh, we are a, primarily a finishing unit with about turning over about 300 head of cattle a year running 500 ewes and growing about 90 acres of cereals. So the data we collect on the farm is primarily weight gains and uh, overall weights of cattle. We're collecting that data to find out if our cattle are performing the way we expect uh, so we're feeding a ration, aiming for a certain uh, live weight gain a day, so we weigh them uh, monthly to see if they're hitting that target and maximising the ration. It's becoming more and more important all the time. If an animal is in spec, on target, on the payment grid that we'll send to the abattoir, therefore there's no point holding that cattle any longer, it's going to cost us money. I'm really looking for the optimum point of performance before it peaks off again. So we're getting into a system now of uh, buying cattle direct, 
Through all our producers actually we will try and share the information back. They can then use that information for their selection in cows, selection in bulls. They don't often see what happens at the finish line. I would say it's crucial if you can record it, you can manage it. So the, the more that you have, the more you're able to then manage your system better and make correct decisions going forward and not wasting time and energy and effort and money on things that are, are not viable. But the margins are so tight in the industry now and if you're not maximising every avenue then in business in this industry nowadays you, you will struggle. Yeah they'll be absolutely critical we're never going to be the biggest suppliers of pigs in in the UK so we want to be the best and that's in terms of both servicing our customers and to our members which means getting the information back as quickly as possible to the members and in a format they can understand. What we want to get to is individual pig data and then they can be picking out the extremes either the best ones or the worst ones and taking decisions based on that. We also need to be able to tailor the information. Not every member wants it in the same format, so we want to be able to find ways that if an individual member only wants to compare themselves against a, a small cohort of people who are doing exactly the same thing, they've got that flexibility to do it. We have a number of different projects on the go on uh, working on elements of this, most of which will finish either this year or next year, and I think that's going to make a big step forward to, to how the members are able to use the, the data. The supply chain side may be a bit longer term. Um, but uh, that's evolving as we speak. It's basically a decision tool that will um, both uh, potentially sort of minimise the amount of time and effort and cost spent um, sort of in the field. It won't initially do away with that, um, but it's very much sort of complementing what sort of Nikki and our, our team do on the individual farms. So the more we can do from a satellite imagery, um, the more hopefully that data will be um, easier to collect, um, easier to collate, um, and will have a greater value to gramping growers in the future. Collection of data going forward is going to become more and more important. We're trying to move to a place where we start to automate the data collection, fitting the uh, cows with uh, collars to automate information. And all of that information will automatically stream to our data analyst. Farming is a business that needs to be efficient. Uh, so with this information, we really just started out, so there's a lot more to, to cover. We've got this automatic dose gun set, allowing us to save money in product. Uh, and also with anthematic use, antibiotic use, etc., we're recording and monitoring that better and trying to reduce it as well for the, for the bigger picture.